This is the Nikon D5100. It's the replacement to the D5000 that's been very popular. It comes into the range between the entry level D3100 and the higher end D7000. So you can think of it as a digital SLR for advanced beginners. It's got the same 16.2 megapixel sensor that you've seen on the more advanced D7000 model, um, but it's lighter and indeed smaller than the D5000, which it replaces. It weighs in at 505 grams, and Nikon says that's 10% off the weight and the size of this model. There are a few other changes too. There's the elastic rubber grip here for more comfortable holding. Uh, the edges have been curved, and there's this effects option on the mode dial here. Now that gives you access to seven in-camera effects. Those effects include selective color, miniature, night vision, low key and high key, silhouette and color sketch. Now this camera also has an HDR mode, so that's high dynamic range shooting mode. What that will do will take an overexposed photograph, an underexposed photograph, in the single press of the button and it will overlay them so you can get the uh, high dynamic range into your shots so that will be shadows and highlights. Now those previously mentioned effects can be used on still images and moving images. Uh, this camera is able to shoot HD movies at 1080p resolution uh, with a refresh rate of 30 frames per second and there's an external microphone socket just here so you can add the Nikon ME1 stereo microphone that has also been announced by Nikon today. That microphone will remove the sound of the autofocus system in the lens and that noise can get picked up by the inbuilt microphone and can ruin some digital SLR videos. Another change that Nikon have made between the D5000 and the 5100 is this live view lever here. So if you pull it towards you, it will turn the live view on, as you can see here, and pull it forward again, and it switches it off. Now this is a three inch LCD on the rear here with a 920,000 dot resolution, and it can be pulled out on its horizontal hinge and twisted like so, so you can get some really creative angles of photography and easily see what's on the screen. Uh, with it being on a horizontal hinge, you can also flip it out like this, so you can show the person you're filming what's in the frame. In its burst mode, the D5100 is able to capture four frames per second. Uh, its ISO range begins at 100 and extends to a sensitivity of 6400. Now in the high ISO mode or high sensitivity mode, that can be set as high as 25,600. Now the D5100 has an 11 point autofocus system. Uh, when you're playing back your photos or your videos, you can of course see them on the LCD or you can plug them in over an HDMI cable to your HDTV. Now this camera supports CEC, so that means that when you are viewing those back on your TV, you'll be able to flick through the images, play and pause or rewind your video with the use of your TV's remote control. And lastly, Nikon has thrown in some editing features as well, so you can edit the photos and the video, and that includes being able to apply some of the effects that are available to select before the photograph, after the photograph's been taken. It's not the case with all of the effects, however. So that's the Nikon D5100. It's gonna cost 670 pounds for the body only, or 780 pounds for the body and the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. The microphone is gonna retail for around 120 pounds. So for more information on the Nikon D5100, the D5000 that this camera replaces, and the entry level D3100, and go to our website at witch.co.uk forward slash cameras.